Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome for those of you who are new. Today I'm going to be doing my fall Aritzia haul. I'm super excited and as a disclosure, this is a sponsored video from Aritzia. So I'm super excited to be working with them again. So many good pieces, so I can't wait to get started. Let's go. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about this cozy sweater that I'm wearing. I wasn't sure about it at first because it looked quite itchy online but I ordered it because I love the shape and the color and the texture and it honestly is super super comfy it does have 43% alpaca in it which was why I was worried it might be a little itchy but it isn't it has 43% merino wool and then nylon so those two I think counteract the potential itchiness that I normally have issues with for alpaca but you still get that really nice like fuzzy sweater texture I like the deep V because obviously you get to see my necklaces. I do wear a tank top or a t-shirt underneath just because it does get a little bit lower than I'd like. So even though it's super oversized, this is only a size small, like true to size. The next up are these pants. These are from Wilfred. They are they are basically like a white stone wash denim. Not as creamy as a sweater up top. It's more of like a gray toned off white has a button fly, extremely high waisted, I would say closer to like a 12 inch high rise. So as you can see, you can fit a phone into this pocket, which I love. Sometimes you get pants with really shallow pockets and that's just not fun. So it doesn't have pockets in the back, but sometimes that actually makes the pant a little bit more flattering. So this is what the pants look like from afar. High waisted, they hug the hip a little bit, but they don't hug it all the way down. They just fall straight. They are a straight leg, full length. You could crop them easily for those of you who still really like the crop look. I'm starting to fall in love with like a full leg, so I'm gonna keep them this way. I really like how it's gonna play into the creams and whites that I had in the summer because they are a slightly kind of like cooler, darker off-white than the other stuff, so it will bring my wardrobe into fall and maybe even winter. So because I live in Guelph, Ontario, slash Canada in general usually, fall can sometimes mean an early winter. So I picked up a couple of the Super Puffs early this year. The two that I got were the Super Puff Shorties. Last year I got the regular one before they came out with this length. And I'm really loving this length because it's the same puff, but it just is more flattering for someone like me that has a shorter torso. And I think it just makes me look a little bit taller. This one that I'm wearing is the matte pearl color. Obviously it goes really well with all the creams and whites that I'm still loving. So this is what it looks like up close. As you can see, it's a little bit of that off-white, definitely a true pearl color. It has two button pockets here that are lined with fleece. So it's super, super helpful when you're out and about in the winter and you need to keep your hands warm because I don't really wear gloves a lot. And also the hood is removable. And then you can actually like make it into more of like a bomber shape with these little, with these little guys over here. So it just looks even poofier when you cinch in the waist here. All right, so I also have an animal print one. I know it's pretty surprising, but I think it's so fun. And sometimes I feel like with my fall winter wardrobe it can get a little drab so i wanted to have a little bit of fun and this is like a neutral animal print i'd say because it is like brown and rusty and caramelly so it goes well with like all the off whites and earth tones that i have in my closet from the summer so i thought i'd shock you all at once animal print and bright yellow sweater this is a cashmere turtleneck i am wearing a size medium because i just wanted it to be a little bit oversized i saw it on the model online and i felt like I would need to size up if I wanted it to be as billowy and cozy looking as I wanted it to be. This is basically like what I would call sunshine yellow. It is so happy and I feel like as I'm getting older I'm like starting to play with a little bit more color and because the turtleneck kind of falls down it doesn't bother me at all in the neck region and because it is cashmere it isn't really itchy. I'm wearing the same tank top underneath that I was before and it is totally fine. And the next sweater. Fall is like all about sweaters for me, as you probably know if you followed me from last year. So this one is a cashmere turtleneck. I wanted to add some texture into my closet. So when I saw this guy, I was like, yes, it's perfect. It's a black sweater, neutral, staple, but it has that little extra pizzazz that 
I'm always looking for because I feel like I have a good closet base, but I'm always looking for more special pieces to add to the collection. And I think this one fits the bill. So I do have like a shorter neck, I feel. So like it could potentially be a mock neck for some people, but it's a full turtleneck for me. So it is like a shorter than normal sweater, definitely shorter than the yellow one. I like how it's boxy because it almost makes it look cropped, but it's not up here. And then it also makes it super easy to tuck in. So a lot of you had asked me last year about like how I tuck in my sweaters without bunching. And the key is to find sweaters that are a perfect length. So you look for sweaters that are a little boxier, a little shorter like this. And so when you tuck it in, basically it's only this much that's tucked in. So you don't get that normal bulge. All right, so next up is this long sleeve tee. I saw it online and I just thought it was so cute. I always look for like regular tops with a little bit of something different. And so this is basically like a black long sleeve. It just has this really cute neck detailing. And yes, this is a fitted top. I got in a couple comments from you guys about how you have been liking seeing me in more fitted things and I think I'm slowly getting more comfortable wearing them. So I'm just gonna come up closer for two seconds to show you this top. It is like the softest material. It is so, so soft. It basically is, so it's like a tie. It comes apart like this. Obviously, probably not gonna be wearing it like that. And then you just give it a little shoestring tie. So yeah, so after you tie, you pretty much have to tie it right together. Otherwise you get a lot of like loose fabric here and just like a really comfy fitted top. And I think that you can even layer it with a blazer um, and it would be pretty cute too. So this is another piece from the haul. This blazer comes in a black. I think this olive green is so fun. It's just a little bit different um, that I feel comfortable in it because it's still a jacket. So I love the fact that it has this shiny lapel. It really plays off of the blazer really nicely, but I really like how this top looks under the blazer because it just has just enough of the window showing that it looks like something so interesting. It's almost like an extra necklace. As you know, I love blazers and I've been trying to expand my collection outside of plaid and black blazers and this being the most perfect olive green and having a great mixture of masculinity and femininity and the stronger shoulder, the more delicate material and the longer length I think is a really great piece for my closet and will help me kind of bring the lights from the summer and the darks from all my previous fall wardrobe collections into something that's more relevant for my style choices now. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite pieces from this haul. Surprisingly, it is a fitted piece with kind of a more revealing neckline, but there's just something so pretty and so comfy and just flattering about this piece. So first of all, it's one of my favorite colors of the season, this beautiful rusty brown. And also it's made of the softest material. So it is like a square neck. When I wore it for Thanksgiving, I actually had like a double-sided tape to hold my bra straps back so it wouldn't slip down and it worked perfectly. So if you don't want to wear a strapless bra, you can still wear straps, it just has to like sit here. And because it is a fitted sweater, you can easily tuck it into high-waisted pants like this without it bulging. And this is seriously going to be one of my favorite, favorite pieces of the season. I'm already just like always wanting to wear it without repeating myself too many times. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I am obsessed with the A Goldie 90s style jeans. So I have the blue ones and the white ones that I wore all summer. And then I wanted a darker pair to bring me into fall. So I saw these black ones on the Aritzia site and I was like, I need to have them. Like I already know my size. I wear 25, which is my true size. And they do stretch a little bit, so they just kind of start getting a little bit baggy, which I don't mind because that's the style of the jean anyways. So these ones have a little bit of this like extra flap here, which I wasn't sure about how I was going to feel until I put them on. But they obviously put it there for a reason because it makes it just a little bit grungy, but not like, oh, knee rips and like all distressing all the pant. It just gives it, just gives it that extra cool factor. And the thing that I'm loving about having wider leg pants for fall is that I can put like higher boots underneath. So I just learned this today. I have these knee high boots because I wanted to pair a dress that I'm going to show you in a second with. And I just put these under these pants and they actually fit perfectly because they are like a wider leg. So I can wear these really sick heeled boots under these pants and you can't really tell. I love having these jeans in black. I think I'm going to wear them so much this season. Like even 
kind of seeing the printed super puff with this outfit I think is so cute. All right, and then here's a more nostalgic outfit for me for those of you who followed me from day one when I used to wear all black. I think this outfit is so grown up looking. I really love it. So this silky blouse is just so flattering and easy to wear. It is shorter, kind of like that black sweater. So you can really just tuck it in and it just sits there. You don't have to like fiddle with it and make sure it doesn't all like bunch up. It has only one lapel on this side, which I think really works for me because normally when I have like a collared shirt, I struggle with like keeping it open to get that like perfect V shape that you see on some people. But now that it only has one flap, it really is like strategically designed. I really like that. And the cuffs are also buttoned up. So it just gives it a little bit of that flare at the bottom. And then pairing it with these washed black jeans, I think looks really smart. You probably go a little bit extra on some gold jewelry if you're going out to a fancier place, but I think this is a really cute like dinner outfit or even everyday outfit if you're not wearing heeled boots or you can, depends on how often you wear heeled boots. So since it's a fall haul, I made sure to get a tailored wool jacket to show you all. I think it looks so cute with this outfit, but also just like blue jeans, white t-shirt, sneakers. And I just wanted to show you it like this because I think it looks super chic and I feel like Keanu in the Matrix. This is like a super oversized jacket. So just letting you know it is quite heavy, but then obviously it's gonna be super warm. So it is a double breasted jacket, which I love because then you can actually button it up and make sure that wind doesn't come through because sometimes you get jackets that are just a belt and then I feel like it just like opens when you're walking and you get so cold but this one you have the buttons to save you from the wind too and then also this awesome belt so this is the shape of the jacket when it is belted you can see that it does have like a drop armpit area so if I'm gonna wear like even this like oversized sweater underneath, it will fit and it won't feel like constricting. All right, so this is the dress that I was talking about that I wanted to pair with these boots. I'm always looking for a really cute little shift dress that isn't too fitted because just like, I feel like when I'm gonna wear dresses, I usually like go for dinner and I always wanna like have the extra room to bloat and eat a lot. So this is why I chose this style of dress. And plus I really like the print. I'm always game for a black and white floral print. Plus I'm a really big fan of how this dress is just above the knee. So I can wear these boots. I have other over the knee boots. Okay, so this is the print up close. It's black and white tulips, I would say. I'm not a flower expert, but I really like how it has the ruffle here over the shoulder and it comes in. So even though it is printed and you don't really necessarily always see the ruffle, the texture and the direction of the ruffle gives your body a little bit of nice illusion shape, even though the dress comes all the way down. And then I also like the sleeves, how they have the ruching here so that it's a mini poof. So because this dress has such an easy shape, you can throw a blazer over just to give it a little extra structure, but also it fits perfectly because it is such a soft material and there's not a lot to it. So the blazer just fits perfectly over. And then you can just button up the blazer for some extra shape, but the skirt is still long enough so that it shows. And that's like a whole different outfit, a whole different vibe. And then just because I'm on a roll with styling this dress, I saw this sweater and I was like, hey, I think it might look cute on it. And I think it does. So there's always a pro for having an oversized sweater that isn't super long because now it fits over the dress perfectly. The bottom of the dress still shows. And obviously I added a beanie just to complete this cozy fall look. So I'm just gonna show you this beanie really quickly. It is cashmere, so it's super, super soft. And I'm a big fan of light grays for fall and winter. And that's a wrap for my Aritzia haul. I hope you enjoyed all the pieces that I showed you. I am really excited to style these. I think even just looking at them all hung up, I can already envision more ways to wear them. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them below. I will also leave all the shoppable links in the description box, so make sure you check there. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And I will see you next time.